Brake lines consist of several key components that work together. The main components include the tubing, fittings, and connectors. Each of these parts is made from materials designed to withstand the rigors of a vehicle braking system. Steel lines are particularly common in modern vehicles due to their durability, but copper lines have their advantages, including ease of bending. Fittings and connectors ensure a tight seal between the tubing and the brake components. These fittings can be made from various metals, including brass and stainless steel, depending upon the application. Flaring is a critical aspect of brake line construction, and it plays a significant role in creating a secure connection between the brake line and the fittings. A properly flared end ensures that the hydraulic fluid remains contained within the system, preventing leaks that could lead to brake failure. The sealing capability of a brake line flare is directly related to the quality of the flare itself. There are two primary types of flares used in automotive brake lines, double flares and bubble flares. Each type serves a distinct purpose and is suited for different applications. The double flare is the most common type used in modern vehicles. This process involves forming the end of the brake line into a cone shape, which is then folded back onto itself. For double flares, the standard angle is typically 45 degrees. This angle is designed to create a tight seal against the fitting in which it is equally angled. This design creates a robust seal that can withstand high pressure, making it ideal for hydraulic brake systems. On the other hand, bubble flares are often found in older vehicles or specific applications. This type of flare creates a rounded shape at the end of the brake line, allowing for a tighter fit with certain types of fittings. While bubble flares may not be as robust as double flares, they can still provide effective sealing in the right circumstances. When it comes to choosing between double flare and bubble flare, it depends on the vehicle's design and the application of the brake lines. Most modern vehicles utilize double flares due to their ability to handle higher pressures and provide a more secure connection. However, some older models may still use bubble flares, particularly if they have not been modified or upgraded. To determine which flare your customer's vehicle needs, consult the vehicle's service manual. If you don't have access to a manual, examining the existing brake lines can provide clues. If the ends of the brake lines appear to have a rounded shape, they likely utilize bubble flares. Conversely, a conical shape suggests the use of a double flare. I recommend that anyone working on brake lines take the time to master the art of flaring. Using quality tools such as a dedicated brake line flaring tool can make a significant difference in the outcome. Additionally, always double check your work for any signs of leaks before hitting the road. Thanks for being with us.